What's behind today's advent calendar door? Oh, it's MTV News. Don't eat it. Stephen Bear wants another Love Island breakup. Couple goals, Olivia Buckland and Alex Bowen inked each other on Just Tattoo of Us last night. And in case you missed it, here's Stephen and Charlotte with their reaction. Alex and Olivia, nice couple, really fun. But as for designing tattoos, I wanted to see a reaction where they could have broken up. <laughs> I wanted to see some drama, but instead they were funny ones, which is good. Because they're engaged and they're in love. I suppose so. You wouldn't want to do that to me if we were engaged and in love. No, no. <gasps> Do you actually mind look it? That, I actually love that. I love that. Do you, do you that. You like it? Yeah. I like the Olivia part, just not the rest of it. The thing with Alex and Olivia, Olivia is they did laugh them off at the time, but we were watching on the screens downstairs. Can you remember this? When they were doing the, the both that they were inside gossip. They looked so pissed. Like off really annoying. They actually, Imagine. If we were watching, we were like, God, they'd look really angry. So I, I think there might have been a few words yeah. when they got home. How are your mint radge packets? Grab the tan, get your face in a box of chicken nuggets and get ready to be mortal because Geordie Shaw season 16 is back with two new faces joining the show and you might recognise one of them from this year's Love Island. Sam Goland and Stephanie Snowden have promised to bring the party back to the tune next year and here's an exclusive first look at our fave new radgies. Absolutely buzzing to be here. If it was to describe myself in one word, it'd be a complete idiot. That's not one word, is it? Reason why is my mates tell me to do something, and I do it. I don't fancy any of the boys in the house. I think they're all really good looking, but I don't fancy any of them. I know girls can be really bitchy, but I'm hoping the girls will accept us for who I am, and I'll get along with everyone in the house. Jodie Shaw is back on Tuesday the 9th of January at 10 p.m. on MTV. Dry January is cancelled. A six-year-old just wrote the most savage letter to Santa and we are here for it. Let's face it, Santa's been getting away with the Judgy McJudgerson vibe for years. We've all heard the song about finding out who's naughty or nice, but like, whatever. It's time Santa got slayed back and a kid from Virginia has done just that. He wrote a letter at school which read, Dear Santa, I'm only doing this for the class. I know your naughty list is empty and your good list is empty and your life is empty. The North Pole is reeling. You don't know the troubles I've had in my life. Goodbye. The boy signed off his letter by refusing to identify himself, writing, I'm not telling you my name. But his mum, Sam McGammon, gave the game up on Twitter, posting the letter and calling it amazing. You guys know you're both getting cold, right? Viagra plant fumes are giving dogs boners. Yeah, I mean, if that's not the best clickbait you've seen all day, I give up. Residents of Irish Village Ringer's Kitty have been complaining that the fumes from a nearby Viagra factory have been giving them all a hard time, with local barmaid Debbie O'Grady telling the Sunday Times, one whiff and you're stiff. Laugh out loud. Pharmaceutical firm Pfizer have been making the drug in the village for the last two years, and according to people that live there, the love fumes have been giving men and their doggy pals enormous sexual powers. Psychiatric nurse Fiona Toomey said that the local dogs walk around in a state of sexual excitement. I think that Viagra must have got into the water supply. But Pfizer have released a statement saying that the stiff whiff was nothing more than an amusing myth. Don't go walking your dog around there anytime soon though, just in case. Nick knack Paddywhack, give the dog a... Let's leave it there. Thanks for watching today's MTV News. I'm James Barr. See you soon.